Boys and girls, I can't wait until we start designing our own whirly gig. So we should have made several sketches last week of possible whirly gigs. And here are a few more examples of whirly gig designs. We're going to be focusing our efforts on creating a bird whirly gig. And so to do that, we need to have separate body parts so we can then make our whirly gig move. And so last week we did some thumbnail drawings or practice sketches of possible whirly gigs. And this was my whirly gig design that I created. And I'm now going to take the, that apart and make it into parts. And so to do that, we are going to fill the entire page of watercolor paper with our whirly gig parts, making sure that we touch all four sides. So I started with the body first because it was it's the largest part. And so I want to make sure that I have enough room for my body. And then I added all the other part. So now I'm going to add visual texture to all of the parts. And to do that, I need to think of the normal visual texture like feathers and patterns that you would find on a bird. And so I'm creating that for my head, my body, my wings, my tail wing, and the legs of my bird. So keep that in mind as you create your own visual textures.